Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am here with another edition of your Adrenal Fix and I want to talk to you today about thyroid metabolism. So basically, uh, this is a flow chart of how the signals get sent from your brain to your thyroid to your different tissues and typically what goes wrong is occurring outside of the thyroid. So what I want to do is talk to you about the mechanics so you get a better idea as to why maybe the fact that you've been on Synthroid or Cytomel or Armor or T4, T3, some kind of compounded formula, um, why that may necessarily not be helping. So it all starts here in the, in the hypothalamus. So the hypothalamus is the central control station for signaling the body as to what is going on. So let's say, think of it like a thermostat where it's too cold in the body, it's got to kick in, and so that's what the hypothalamus does, is it senses the ambient circumstances in the body and tells the field general, the pituitary, he says, hey, pituitary, you got to go wake up the thyroid because it's too cold in here, you got to go give it, um, go, go wake it up. So the pituitary will release TSH, and that will cause the thyroid to release more T4 and more T3. So when we have a primary hypothyroid problem, basically meaning the thyroid is falling asleep at the job, then typically what happens is the TSH gets higher because what happens is the, the body's cold, your hypothalamus is saying, hey, go tell those guys to work harder, and he's really beating up the pituitary saying, get that thyroid to work more and more and more. But what I wanted to talk to you today is about under conversion. And so under conversion means that we are not converting enough T4 into T3. So when thyroid finally gets its orders from the pituitary, TSH says, hey, you got to go release more thyroid hormone. The thyroid produces 93% of its total hormone in the T4 version, which is the inactive version. So the analogy I use is it's kind of like the coffee bean trying to put that in the filter. It's too big. It's not going to be utilized effectively and the coffee's going to stink. So, so what it has to do is it's got to grind it down into T3, of which only 7% of the total hormones that thyroid produces is T3. So, so basically what happens is T4 takes a taxi cab or a thyroid binding globulin, which we could have problems with that, and that's another webinar or workshop altogether. But it goes to the liver. And so the, here's the liver over here. So the liver is responsible for grinding down that T4 into T3. So if a person has detoxification issues, they have an infection, they have heavy metal toxicities, they have xenobiotics, they have um, one of the most common untalked about American health conditions that are coming up in the future, which you'll hear a lot of, is non-alcoholic fatty liver syndrome. And that's called NASH, and, and that's a real epidemic where the liver is not doing a good job of, of doing what it needs to do, and that will impact your thyroid. So you can take TSH to the cows come home, and if you're not converting T4 into T3 in the liver, and another 20% of that gets converted over here in the gut, so let's say we have a gut problem and a liver problem and we're under converting T4 into T3, then you're just taking more and more TSH, TSH, TSH until your TSH levels go really, really low and that's typically what I see with a lot of my patients and you develop thyroid resistance, which is kind of like insulin resistance where when your hormones are kicking in too much, it's like your, your boss yelling at you all the time, hey, do the work, do the work, do the work eventually you tune out and your cells don't take in the messages that the hormones are signaling. So that's just a couple of examples of what can go wrong with a thyroid metabolism. And where does stress play with all this? Stress breaks down the feedback loops, stress causes underconversion, stress can cause an overconversion, stress can cause resistance, stress can impact all of the mechanics of thyroid hormone and that's where adrenal fatigue fits in. So I'm looking forward to getting into a little more of this with my workshop tomorrow. I still have some room left so make sure you click on the link in this video or click on the link in this post and sign up for your workshop uh, um, free teleseminar and if you can't attend sign up anyways because then I'll send you the replay. So once again my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I uh, hope you enjoyed another edition of your Adrenal Fix. If you like this video then please give me a thumbs up, a share, a comment. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and also check out my free blog. It's at adrenalfatiguesociety.com. Look forward to helping you recover with your adrenal nightmare. Thank you so much.